Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at how to run a hypothesis test for a population proportion. So it starts the same way as running a hypothesis test for anything, and that is we need to write the null and alternative hypotheses. So our null hypothesis will be that P, or our population proportion, is equal to some status quo value. And our alternative hypothesis will be that P is either greater than, less than, or not equal to that number. So depending on how the claim is stated, we'll fill that in. We can then draw a picture of our model and shade our rejection region. So there, we're back to using our Z or standard normal distribution. And depending on what our alternative hypothesis looks like, we can have a one-sided left test, a one-sided right test, or a two-sided test. For our test statistic, when we calculate that, that's going to be a Z critical value or a Z star. And that's going to be calculated by taking what we call P hat or our proportion from a sample minus p divided by kind of our standard error for this which will be the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. We will then determine if that test statistic falls into our rejection region that we calculated and use that to make a decision concerning the null hypothesis. If it falls into the rejection region, then we will reject the null hypothesis. If it falls not in the rejection region, then we will fail to reject. Last but not least, we'll state our conclusion about the claim in the alternative hypothesis. All right, let's look at one of those in practice. So any basketball fan knows that Shaquille O'Neal, one of the NBA's most dominant centers of the last 20 years, always had difficulty shooting free throws. Over the course of his career, his overall made free throw percentage was 53.3%. During one offseason, Shaq had been working with an assistant coach on his free throw technique. During the next season, a simple random sample showed that Shaq made 26 of 39 free throw attempts. Test the claim that at alpha equals 0.05, Shaq had significantly improved his free throw shooting. So let's begin with a pair of hypothesis statements. So here we have our proportion equal to the status quo. 53.3% would be 0.533. And if we're interested in showing that he significantly improved his free throw percentage, then that would mean we're looking for P to be greater than 0.533. All right, so that means that we have a one-sided right-hand test or upper-tailed test. And so we will need to find a Z critical value for if our alpha is 0.05, we're gonna be looking for that critical value. Now that's one you may just know off the top of your head, but if not, you can use inverse normal with an area below of one minus 0 0.05 or 0 0.95. That's gonna give us 1.645. All right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and calculate our test statistic or our Z star. So that will be p hat minus p over the square root of p times 1 minus p all over n. So p hat is calculated by taking the number of successes over the number of attempts. So in our case, Shaq made 26 of his free throws out of the 39 that he tried. So that comes out to be 0.667. So our p hat is 0.667 minus 
our p-value of 0.533 divided by the square root of, now notice this is p, not p-hat, so that will be 0.533 times 1 minus 0.533 all over n, which is the number of attempts, or 39. So using your calculator to get that, we get 1.673. So our test statistic is 1.673. Comparing that to our z-critical value, it looks like we do fall into the rejection region since 1.673 is larger than 1.645. So that means we would be rejecting the null hypothesis. So we can say there is enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis that Shaq's made free throw percentage is still zero point, or we could say is still at 53%. So it does appear, based on this test, that he did significantly improve his free throw shooting. All right, so that's a look at hypothesis testing for proportions. Keep on watching this series to see a couple more examples worked out. Until then, we'll catch you next time.